Hello and welcome to Tales from the Battle of Mission. My name is Speed. And in today's episode, you can see the finalized team, which includes Talon Flame, which unfortunately today doesn't do too much. Uh, these these battles will be more of a showcase for Mega Metagross uh, than anything else. Um, and on the first turn, get kind of surprised by the uh, lead seed from the Rose Raid as I set up my Mega Metagross, and then I'm trying to go for the Brave Bird, but you never know how the AI acts in the in-game battle rotation shenanigans, so my talent flame kind of goes down, but you know, it's still fine, and the game is reading me like a book, as it goes for protect now, as I was kind of expecting a, t a turn earlier, and then I hit the Empoleon, but it has the Pattaya Berry, just like in Gen 4, uh, but it still doesn't knock out my Mega Metagross, because it's so bulky, so I go for DD, because I need some backup from the Dragonite, and, and then I'm gonna rotate into Gen Z again to get the wish and the shenanigans, because I kinda try to revive my Mega Metagross, if I just have the opportunity. I should have like a 66.6% .6 chance to do so, and I do manage to pull it off. Uh, but then there's more protect shenanigans, so I guess my chances were a bit lower than I actually said. Anyways, the next then had a uh, connects, and then I'm just gonna finish things off with my Dragonite, go for some uh, DDs. I uh, got my plus one speed, so I should be able to outspeed uh, both Sceptile and Starmie, the in-game variant after one DD, uh, but I, I'm i not sure if I can knock out Starmie in one hit, so I go into Mega Metagross, but I get frozen! Frozen? So, um, then I'm like, okay, let's just go for the heal bell with Chansey, but I get frozen! Where have I seen that before? I just happened a moment ago, and then the anti-climatic ending, because the Starmie doesn't actually use high speed anymore, so, uh, ah. Oh. Ah, that was close. If there would have been a triple freeze, that would have been shenanigans. But double freeze, don't see that too often. So there's your shenanigans of the day, and we move on to the next battle, which is uh, just uh, pure Mega Meta Gross domination. Uh, the team you're seeing uh, me playing against, you know, it's kind of threatening for Mega Meta Gross. You know, ground type and fire type, Mega Meta Gross doesn't do fine against those two. And uh, I did kind of play aggressively here, uh, made some ballsy moves, like right here, uh, going for the home close and then the attack, and uh, risking my Mega Metacross like this, but, you know, that thing is just so freaking bulky that I take the hit. No problem, live the Flare Blitz with seven hit points, and then I realize, oh wait, I should not have played so recklessly, so let's try to... Uh, Patch that thing up, uh, right here. And I do. I uh, hit the Aurorus with a Zen Headbutt, and uh, I do knock it out, get back all the way to full health with the Wish. This is what makes this team succeed and makes it so freaking awesome. Uh, I can take an Onslaught and beating and just uh, recover off all the health. And uh, here I take a Shadow Ball from this weird, bulky Chandelure, but I take it even from that massive, like, 145 special attack, and uh, finish it off with the Zen Headbutt, and uh, that will be the game. And then we got the final game of the day, just uh, some comic uh, relief uh, for the end right here. So, uh, uh, got our Metagross on the opposing side this time. And so I rotate into my Mega Metagross and I uh, start things off with the Mega Evolution and uh, take another Flare Blitz, this time with 29 HP, get my home close boost up and I keep just playing recklessly here and I keep take taking these Flare Blitzes and then the Citrus Berry activates from the uh, Arcanine and uh, I need to make some wishes and I'm hoping to patch up my uh, Chansey first of all and then I'm gonna make another wish for the uh, Hopefully for the Mega Mega Meta Gross, except I get tricked here, so that kind of puts an obstacle in my way. Uh, but I do get off that wish, but now Chansey is kind of crippled on the physical side, because I don't have my Violet anymore. And of course the Arcanine strikes with the close combat, so I'm not able to receive my wish. And uh, Mega Meta Gross gets knocked out, but it's fine, it's fine, it's cool. I got my uh, Dragonite here go for the uh, DD here because I need to get my speed up and my attack up and uh, then I'm gonna start dishing out some 
early earthquakes because I, I got these t two physical attackers I need to deal with so I can't really take too many risks and I should be able to take a hit from the Espion anyway so I figured I would just go for the EQ right off the bat and then the moment of the day in comes Mark and he's like and I got, got, we, we got the quick clue and a good the explosion but we, 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 we protect <laughs> <laughs> ah, that is so Gen 4. You don't get to see that too often. Protect on explosion. That was so awesome about Gen 4. You, you used to see that all the time, and now you don't see that anymore because of the explosion nerf. But anyways, the rest of the match, just finish things off with my Talon Flame. With the Flare Blitz, not able to outspeed the uh, Espion though with the Adamum Nature, which is kind of a shame, but I do like the extra power that the Choice Band has with the Adamum Nature. And so, that will be the game. And I promise next time you'll get to see more of Talonflame, uh, the final member of the team. And this is my finalized team. Uh, in these battles, I'm already in the 500s, and uh, you will get to see more of the shenanigans uh, next time. So until then, this is Pedro Rambling and signing out. Peace.